Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be painting on sugar paste. We're going to be doing this uh, ribbon-like monogram for letters um, or for lettering to add a name on the front of a cake or maybe sugar paste is ready and set and I already copy the design from the original one. What I'm going to do first is to trace only the banner, the ribbon that it's placed in front of the flowers using any pencil. Okay, you just trace it over. If your design doesn't have any letterings and it doesn't matter what position it is, just trace it again on the original design. However, if you have letterings, make sure you trace it in the back so when you place it on the sugar paste the lettering will be readable okay you can be reading these letters so for now it's fine i'm just going to place it i'm sorry trace it again on the top so this part is done now i'm the only thing i'm going to trace again let me just move this because it's getting some reflection the only thing i'm going to trace is like a guide to where the leaves are not all the leaves okay because i want this design to be like watercolor effect i don't want all the markings in all the leaves okay so i'm just going to mark this set of leaves okay then i'm going to mark this set which will be flowers and this one here will be flowers as well. And now the only big leaves I have. This one, this one, and this one. Keep your design in hand because otherwise once you trace it, you don't know what are you doing. So maybe this one is a big leaf and this one here is a big leaf. So that's all I'm going to do for now. And now I'm going to transfer this into the sugar. Okay, so I have already my uh, edible colors uh, ready in my painter's palette. Please take a look at the amount you're going to use. You're just going to use a little bit because this is watercolor effect. So the um, colors are going to be quite uh, diluted with uh, I'm going to use to dilute the colors some gin okay it's alcohol and it's edible don't don't worry about the alcohol because this will evaporate and you won't taste any of the alcohol so just a little bit of each color i have here some let me show you here so using this i'm just going to add a few drops of gin in each of the uh, colors so i have some pink in here green royal blue, light blue, and yellow. The white cannot be mixed with the alcohol because the base of this is um, di dioxid titanium. I think I'm saying this correctly, I don't know. So it won't mix or it won't dissolve. So I'm not going to use any of this. However, the watercolor effect, what makes the watercolor effect is the dilution of the colors not using white so i'm not going to make any clarity in the colors or make the tones lighter by using white but by adding more so the brushes that i'm going to use are one small uh, straight brush one tiny tiny i think you can see the number there double o is like just a little fine hair brush and that's it that's all i'm going to use so for the me. first thing i'm going to check is the consistency of the colors i'm not going to mix this all the first color i'm going to use for the ribbon is going to be the yellow one so i'm just going to mix the yellow and as you can see i still have here a little bit of um just plain gin that if i want to add be adding to the colors to make it lighter i will Okay, 
I think is good. Have a lot of paper towel in hand and some water to clean your brushes so you can be cleaning the brush. You can use more than one brush. I use one, but you can use more than one brush and you don't have to be cleaning them so much. Basically what I'm going to do, this back parts here are darker because they are in the back and the front has more light. So I'm going to start with my darker color. Always take the excess of the color before placing it on the uh, sugar paste. And I'm always going to start from the top down. See, just a little bit of color. I don't need more than this, just a little bit. And now I'm going to do this part as well. So from the top, pull it down. And these two little triangles are done, right? Now, I'm just going to clean the brush a little bit with the water, take the excess off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the brush in just, this is just gin, okay? And I'm going to wet the top of the ribbon and bring it down. Just wet it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Wet it and bring it down it doesn't have to be all the way down it can even it can't it, it can even be uneven okay just make sure you cover the corners okay once it's wet i'm going to dip my brush again into the chin and just a bit of the yellow not too much i don't want to make it too dark and now I'm just going to, again, start on the top, start on the top. You can already see that it's lighter than the one that I have on the back and push it down. Okay. Where it's already wet. Push down, down, down. And now around here, the corners around the other corner, clean your brush, take the excess, dip into the jean, and just push all the paint only with the jean. Just push the paint around to give this water color effect. So I'm actually, what I'm doing is I'm leaving the top darker in the corner, so I have my definition, and just spreading or pushing the paint around the front to create light. Okay, see this? Perfect, there you go. We're going to do the same with the two corners of the ribbon. I want to define the borders of the ribbon because I think it will be neater than just leaving it like this. So using a very, very thin brush, see it. Okay, but it's a very thin, using this very thin brush. It's just like a little piece of hair. Again, I'm gonna dip the brush into the jean first. It's gonna be the liquid and then just get a little bit of the yellow. And of course, I'm starting on the top because the top is where it's darker. I'm just passing it into the line here. Very thin because I don't want a thick, dark line that defines this. Just very thin. And I'm gonna keep doing it first on the top of all the ribbon because always when you first dip your brush into the paint, that is when you have more paint, and you should start where is darker, okay? And then push it down to where it's lighter.
Okay, for the central leaves, I'm going to be using blue with a mix of a little bit of green. However, these two shades of blue, this is lighter, this is darker, but these two shades of blue, I still think they're too dark for what I want. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this that is lighter and it's already uh, solved with the gin and I'm going to be adding more gin into it to make it even lighter tone. Now, now I can see that it's transparent. This is what I want. And I'm just going to get a bit of green, just a bit of green, okay? Just to give it a greener shade. I don't know if you can see it there. Good, this is what I want, perfect. So this color is quite soft and I'm going to use this one to create the back lines. I'm gonna get the design so you will know what I'm talking about. In the design, uh, the lines that I'm going to create, this is actually backwards, this, will be looking like this, but anyway, you can see it there. So I'm going to create these big um, leaves that I have in the back, because this is going to be like the central point of the design, and from there, I'm going to take the rest of the leaves. So we're going to start with that one. I'm going to do this one first. I'm just gonna clean the brush, because I don't want the brush to have too much color in it. I'm gonna dip it again, remember, dip it into the gin before starting. Wet this a little bit, the big leaves. Okay, take the excess off, dip it again, and now we're going to do the color. Take the excess off, and let me start. I always start from the top down, so because if I start down here and I put my hand on top, I will spread the color. So always from the top down. So I will have the light towards this side, here too, and here as well. Okay, clean the brush, take just some gin into it, clean the excess, and just push the color. Oh, look how pretty this looks. The base I'm going to still use in this blue that I made, but I'm going to add more green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take green here and I'm going to use this blue. It's still too dark. So I'm going to mix this with the blue, make it greener. Okay, that's what I want. Maybe a little bit more. Perfect. This is exactly what I want for the other leaves. Maybe a little bit more green. Good. Don't be afraid to play with the colors, guys. What is the worst thing that can happen? You have to do it again. That's all. Practice. Practice before the doing this on the cake, please. Um, I usually recommend even to have a little piece of sugar paste just to test the colors before applying it into the sugar paste. This will be an application, so you can do more than one and see which one you like better but if you're painting on top of the cake practice first okay, so i'm going to start filling this little tricks here with flowers with flowers no sorry with uh leaves um i'm going to use the darker blue green color that i made so always starting from top down first dip your brush into jean take the excess off and I'm just going to wet some parts here like they were leaves. Just a little bit, not much. Uh, I have another one here, this side. Let me see here. I'm just looking at the design to see where the leaves are. Just wetting this a little bit. Okay, now take the green, clean the excess. This is quite dark, but it's greener. This is what I wanted. So I'm gonna start with the top 
leave down, okay, top down. Then I'm going to keep making leaves here. Okay, in this side, I'm going to make the leaves a little bit bigger. Using the brush, the clean brush, just with some gin, I'm going to try to create some light and bring down the color on the leaves so they don't look like chunks. See, so I'm just in the middle and passing some. It's almost like I'm scraping the, the paint out of the, take the excess out. See, but that way I'm creating a light uh, shade into the each of the leaves. So just put some, add some gin into the middle. And this way you will get this light to each leaf. For example, this one, this one, this one for me is too dark like big chunks of, of green. So by using the gene, I'm just, it's like I'm cleaning off the color, but that way I'm just creating shade in each one of them. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Now from here, we're going to add some pink to create some little flowers. And then we go for the detail. Ooh, I have my pink here that I just add some more gin because it was a little bit dark. And I'm going to use first this brush in order to, I'm just going to place some dots. It's just dots. That's all. I'm not going to create a big flower. So around these twigs here, I'm creating a big one first, uh, a couple of small ones or smaller ones, and then I'm going to switch to the very, very, very thin uh, brush and I'm going to add little ones. Okay, good. Now they look like random dots, but they will be connected. Don't worry about it. Okay, now I'm going to do the same down here. I think the flowers are around this side. Oh, sorry. So I'm just going to add some here, maybe on top of the leaf. So the design will look more organic. And here, I'm sorry, under here, I'm going to add some big ones just to balance the top and the bottom. Maybe two or maybe two. And a couple of small ones. Perfect. Now they look like random things, but they will look better in to work the details first I'm going to work the top now the bottom uh, first I'm going to start with using green with the very thin brush and I'm going to connect this way for me is easier I'm going to connect the leaves by painting okay the center of the branch Oops, not so little. Okay, oh, that's too much. I don't like this, but you can always correct it. Just clean your brush, add some gin, dissolve this part. 
maybe scrap the part with clean brush and you're ready to go again see just no fuss everything is good okay let me just take the excess off and now i'm creating this these lines here because the design is so light that i don't want it to have huge lines if you like bigger lines that's good okay now i'm going to do the other one since i'm using this color i'm going to start in the bottom here towards the top okay there you go now i'm going to change to some blue um there you go. let me just take a little bit of the light blue that i had and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to mark this side and maybe a little bit of definition here this side which is the darker side and just a little bit of definition in the in the top without continuing the whole line there you go uh, i'm going to do with the green now down here so now using a darker blue i'm just going to connect these flowers so they won't look like random things going on like random dots so i finished joining the um, the flowers and now using the white without any without solving it I'm just going to add some light into these little flowers here. So I gave the finishing touches to this. As you can see, I add some white to the flowers just to create some light, uh, just some dots create a little bit of light and dimension. Uh, I finished all the lines connecting the leaves and the, and the flowers. So now you have the design done. And the only thing you have to do is to wait for it to dry so you can write down the name of the person that the cake is for. And this is how you paint a watercolor effect, banner, lettering, flowers for your cake or a cake topper or a cookie or whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Please leave me a comment below, subscribe, uh, press like, uh, just uh, tell me what you thought about this tutorial. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.